What's up, guys? Marcela Hay here. Today I'm going to meet Jason. He is the architect responsible for the renovation of my apartment. If you are looking for a very professional and competent architect, I definitely recommend him. I will leave his contacts in the description below. He just opened a new office. Let's meet him and ask him a few questions about his career and his new products. Let's go there. Oh. Hey Jason, how oh. are you? Great, how are you? Good. Come on in. Excuse me. Nice place you have here. Thank you very much. Can you show us a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So it started off as a child. I had video games that would be placement of furniture and designing houses and designing office spaces and whatever came to my mind, but that was just an alternative to a video game that I would play with when I was a child. And then that materialized into college eventually and fascination with science and physics and that led to an engineering background. So I started off college in engineering and civil mechanical engineering and got an AA in civil mechanical engineering and then moved from there out of boredom to architecture. So I needed a bit more creativity than, than uh, engineering was allowing and so I moved to architecture and started my degree in architecture and then ultimately finished that with, with passion. That I had creativity, I had the fascination of physics and all that kind of stuff with it. So it was a nice combination of, of both. And then through architecture, I got into construction because not only did I want to see my projects being designed, but I needed to see them being built. And right now there's a big disconnect in the industry where architects are designing projects, but not actually getting to see them built or knowing that fact if they're getting built. So I wanted to be able to combine both, so be able to design and build and ultimately follow the historic term of master builder, which is being able to do both design and build your project. Probably would be a project that I did for a development company. Um, it was a multiple unit town building that we designed and built. So that was a project that started off from sketch of townhomes and community center and marina and developed into a full occupied um, townhome community. So that was probably the most pivotal, important job of my career so far. So the projects that we're working on right now are slightly scattered. So we have projects that range from custom townhomes in the Victoria Park area to custom homes in the Rio Vista area. And we have all sorts of projects from large to small. We have one that's kind of unique right now that we're doing, which is converting a horse stable into a guest house slash man cave. And so that's kind of a unique project that you don't get to work on every day. Um, and then we have a couple of renovations going on. Um, like I mentioned before, the my personal home, which we're really excited about. That's um, a very unique project. And then we're working on projects right now that are going to sort of change the direction of the company. One of them is a boutique hotel on the west coast of Florida that we're going to be designing and building. Uh, that's a big undertaking that's really going to shape, shape the company in a unique way. And then we are also working on a very unique project in Miami, which is a in essence, a playground for adults and for children, where you can bring your children to this facility and uh, let them play on, in essence, like a jungle gym on a very, very large scale, like 40 to 50,000 square feet, and also be in a bar setting at the same time. So that's a unique challenge for us to have a bar and children's play area combined in one space and figure out how all that program works together. So. Um, so the motivation to open this office has been a part of my vision since day one, since 
the idea of opening my own company came to me. So it's been there since the beginning. Um, as far as when I was ready to do it, yeah, it got to the point in business where the company slowed in growth and it needed a, a push. And it wasn't slowing in growth because of the availability of projects. It was slowing in growth because of my capacity to keep up with the projects as far as manpower, as far as uh, space, and as far as representing the product that I was trying to give to my clients. And so the only way that that image could really manifest would be to have a space that I can host clients and showcase our style, which you'll see, I'm assuming, in this video in a little bit. Um, to showcase our, our style, our attention to detail, our unique characters of, of design, and of construction, of management, and also to have a, a beautiful place that we could have team members work together and feel comfortable. So ultimately, the, the goal of this office was to create a living room type environment where nobody really felt like they were so much in an office as they were a living room or a lounge type of setting to keep everything as lighthearted as possible, music playing, and, um, not typical office setting with fluorescent lights and, and cold air blowing on you. Yeah, your girlfriend supports you. She does. She's very supportive and um, very passionate about what I'm doing and what she's helping me doing. She's a big part of this whole thing, which I'm grateful for. And she actually works in the industry, so she really understands all that goes into this whole thing. So. Thank you. So my tips for people that want to start a project, renovation, new construction, any sort of construction project would be to just be vulnerable in the sense that you need to put yourself out there. Uh, don't hesitate to call an architect, don't hesitate to call us, don't hesitate to call anybody that has any sort of insight in this industry. It's a lot that goes into this whole process so you, ultimately you just want to get started get started there's no harm there's no commitment in, in putting your ideas on paper so just kind of figure out what you want and figure out what ultimately needs to happen and just write things down and then reach out to a couple professionals and start talking start the process my biggest advice would be just be open and the more information you can give from the very beginning the better product you're going to get ultimately Thank you for having me here. Thank you for coming. And nice, nice new ones. Congratulations. Thank you. And if you like this video, hit the like button and consider to subscribe. Hit the bell to be informed when I upload a new video, okay? Thank you again and see you in the next video.